All right, now that we got the seat belt released, we we'll need to remove this panel right here. Sometimes you can see it has vents, which is more complicated. Gotta be careful with these vents. And if they don't, it's a little easier. Usually where you start is down here at the bottom. And you can start by prying on this molding trim. All right, get it started. This will loosen up the trims a little bit so it's not so tight. All right, now we can start in here. You can see which one comes off first and just gently pull up. Okay, I got this one loose. I can just set it to the side and work on this one. Just same thing, pull to the side. And just gently, you don't want to force anything. All right, and if you got it loose. So the best thing to do is push it up, up and out. So I'm gonna push it up and then out. Be careful not to damage this. As you can see, these little grooves inside here. So it's being held right here. So up and then out. Uh, a lot of times you can just put this right through. Uh, don't send the panel in. This makes the packaging very bulky. If you have an anchor tensioner right here, you can disconnect it and feed it through. Just like that. Don't want to send in these trims. They can get damaged, they can get dirty. So please don't send these in. Just only send just the seat belts. And now for these, the bottom trim. If you do have a vent, this is the air vent. A lot of times it's being held by these little tabs. You have a screwdriver. And now we can remove this bolt right here. This one, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, this is a impact sensor, usually it's fine, just leave it on. Uh, right here is where you want to move them up, comes right off. To reinstall them, this one is black, goes to black, yellow, goes into yellow. So make sure this is all the way out, this orange piece. You insert it all the way in and then push down to lock it. Same thing here, make sure this tab is all the way up. And these tabs look different for different vehicles. Push it in and then in. And then make sure, sometimes this says L. Left means driver side. And if it's an R, it means passenger side for right side.